Hello, welcome to the Elevate Your Wellbeing podcast with myself, Rachel Wagstaff. We are on episode 40. It is the 1st of September. We are on episode 40. And we have been going through this podcast every week together for nearly a year now. It is incredible. I am so, so honored. And I'm also really excited because I have something really really exciting to share with you today so make sure you have a journal and a pen available make sure you have some water and you might be taking some notes if you have got any questions with anything that I'm going to be highlighting or speaking about today do reach out all the information is in the show notes and the program that I'm going to be talking about I am so excited to share with you ah so Make sure you are somewhere nice and comfy. If you're outside enjoying a walk, amazing. Maybe you're listening to this on your lunch break. Do let me know. I do love it when you tag me and let me know that you're listening to this or what your ahas are, your takeaway. And I've kind of teased this over the last couple of weeks. This is something I have been working towards for what for me feels like ages. I know it's something that I've wanted to put out there. And it's just funny, like, clicked into place so it's the first of September we have a last quarter moon coming up in Gemini and so I'm probably going to be chatting about this a lot Gemini is a nice uh, chatty sign um, which I am it's my sun sign and last quarter moon signifies really what we're letting go of so what are you ready to let go of I've been chatting to a lot of people, whether that's it, you know, my clients directly, or if I've been chatting to you, if you're listening to this podcast, you might have been one of these people. I've been chatting to people in my DMs on Instagram. I do tend to put a lot of polls up or question boxes. And I've been chatting to people a lot about this over the past month now as this episode goes live. I've been chatting to people about this in my free wellbeing Facebook group if you're not in there why not do come and join us it's completely free I go live every every single week uh for about 15 20 minutes it's about the same length as, this, as the podcast episode tends to be so I try to keep the short and sweet I'm trying to only use like one percent of your day um for sharing some ahas and insights but what I'm sharing today is a program that I am releasing this month now, as you probably know by now, I do tend to batch my podcast episodes. Um, I do really feel batching is really empowering, a way of getting back your time and really honing in on your focus. So I take like an afternoon just to purely record my podcast episodes. Anything else I have to do around that, I tend to do on, a, on another day. So I edit them all together, for example, or uh, I work out my content around them on another day, for example. So they're will be even more information uh, coming out with regard to this as this goes live um if it has gone live and it's not on there do send me a message because i will have all the information ready to go by the time this does go live but i am releasing a three month coaching program but it's not just any program it's not just me and you getting on zoom or if you're local to me meeting in a coffee shop every week and sitting down and having a chat about how you're doing and what you're working through and what your challenges are and how you're wanting to feel and these different practices that you can do this is a program it is a course so this is how you can feel like your best self how you can elevate and optimize your well-being and feel like your most vibrant self so this is a standalone program that you can do as a self-study or you can have additional coaching alongside this so we go through the modules and it's drip fed for 12 weeks aka three months or uh, like 90 days approximately and it comes together but it'll be it'll be 12 weeks so a three-month program and you'll get started as soon as you sign up you'll get started um obviously there's a little bit more that we have to work with if you're booking in coaching so with that one there there will be a limited amount of slots because i will only open up up to a max of five every single month uh for people to work with me so i can really make sure that i have that time optimized to be there for you and we will go through the uh focus every single week so each week will have a different focus 
And this is all about you feeling empowered to feel like your most vibrant self. So within three months, you're going to be identifying why you want to change your life and elevate your life so you can feel like your best self. We're going to be going into action steps and practices to really help you work on your mindset and your like physical and mental well-being so we can really lay the foundation so these particular habits stick this isn't something that you buy and it's like oh I'll try it and then it doesn't stick I really want to help you really create that foundation so you have this space to really implement these changes so we're going to be making a plan and carving out the time to really really work together and make you this program really worth your while so you feel like your most vibrant and elevated stuff so I'm really highlighting and emphasizing on the word vibrant because that's what I want you to feel and there is a real a real foundation to creating this energy in yourself and this is what we could be going into so as soon as you sign up we're going to be going into like the welcome and getting you set up we're going to be going into like the foundations for um, setting up your habits and going into transformative practices so you can really set effective and long-lasting health and well-being goals and habits and practices so you can really really feel good then each week everything is going to be drip fed out so this really uh, uses the foundation the baseline of the take your med I went through this on a previous uh, episode on the podcast so take your meds meditate exercise your diet and your sleep so it's really going into the foundations and the fundamentals for you feeling good so we'll be going through nutrition and we'll be going into practices of how you can not only um, release and reduce stress but noticing how you could how you feel so you could notice actually I'm going to be, if I carry on this trajectory, I'm going to go into burnout. I'm going to be in this chronic stress. I'm going to be uh, not the person I want to be for my partner or my kids or my loved ones or even the people I work with. So it's noticing how you feel, working with particular tools and practices like meditation, breathing, yoga, any type of movement that works for you so you can feel good. We'll be diving into the metabolism and your hormones. So if you are someone that is perimenopausal or you're going, you're sort of in that mist of going through the menopause. I don't know if you know the proper terms of that. You're like, well, you're not going through the menopause. You are in that menopause stage because that's what perimenopause is. But I'm not going to get um, tedious in, in, <laughs> in that here. But even working with your hormones, if you struggle with your cycle, and it's not where you want to be if you feel that you always have to write a couple of days off every month when you go through having your period we'll be going into hormones and how we can really uh, create this balance with hormones in your diet and hormones in your sleep and all these different strategies with that uh, falling in love with yourself so we'll be working on your body image we'll be again going even deeper into food so Food really affects your mood and really honing in on, on that, especially, and anyone can take this course, I will just highlight, but it is very much geared to women who um, either are having a cycle or who are then in menopause, because even though you're not physically going through your cycle, uh, then you're not having a bleed, you will still be cycling through your hormones and they will be slightly different uh, than when you were, uh, say, having a, a monthly cycle. Uh, but it's amazing how your because of that approximate 28 day cycle really affects your mood that really has an impact on your diet as well and the type of food that you go for so we will be looking really really deep into like mindful eating as well sleep wellness health and hygiene so looking into sleep deprivation even the connection between your diet and your sleep with caffeine and your sleep well-being. And I talked about this last week with the most optimal time to, to drink your coffee. Um, improving habits so you improve the quality of your sleep. So you're improving your health. Obviously, we'll be going into movement, active living, you know, exploring like dynamic movement and then active rest 
And again, creating a personalized plan so you can really stick to uh, what works for you. And then honoring balance as well, because, you know, life happens, life gets in the way. Uh, we'll be going deeper into self-care. So what really is self-care and why is it important? And building a self-care plan and a morning routine, like a ritual and habits uh, to really uh, work around um, optimizing particular days, like self-care Sundays, for example, and have you look at other people's in your life uh, routine. So if you know, say, a partner, um, I'm going to use an example I had from someone else. She's like, well, my partner always loves watching football on Sundays. So it's like, well, if you don't enjoy doing that together, if that's not a thing for you two to do together, then take take that time and really give it to you so you can quite literally replenish and refill your cup with some self-care. We'll be looking into relationships. I have mentioned this on a previous episode with regards to the recent masterclass that I did in August, which was Reconnect. And that was looking into relationships and the importance of the connection with people in your life and your well-being. Um, my one of my favorite modules is or my favorite week is the happiness and joyful week so we'll be looking at gratitude practices and ways that you can enhance your happiness and joy in your life and then how you can continue moving forward from there so I think this is something that is a really beautiful offering to to bring you and I just really want to sort of highlight what it can really help do for you so if you are feeling burnt out, so burnt out could be that you feel overwhelmed, you're tired, you're frustrated, you desire to feel healthy and full of energy, but you just feel depleted, rain. If you don't know where to start or you start, feel like you've started so many times, but you're scared to fail or fall off the wagon. You're fed up with fads and trends like oh here's another thing you know this isn't going to stick this isn't going to last if you want to feel full of energy you want to feel great in yourself you want to glow you want to have life that feels pleasurable you want to wake up feeling in love with your life you don't want to feel fatigue you don't want to feel guilt or shame around wanting to have that vibrant lifestyle uh you're you might be desperate to make over your life uh, you might be um, just confused where to start in actually creating real change in your well-being. You might be done with restrictive diet because they're not fun. Nothing about that is fun. So you just feel like you're starving and that doesn't feel good. And you might just want to know or you know that it is time to make yourself a priority, but again, don't know where to start. So... I want to bring you this particular program because I want to help you learn how to enjoy food, take pleasure in your food, be the most healthiest person you know, to have the most amount of energy you've ever had. I want you to enjoy pulling out clothes out of your wardrobe and they feel good and you feel the vibrant in them. I want you to, again, wake up feeling in love with your life. And I want to help you banish the someday mentality and finally you start making real changes in your life. So it's not, I'll do that someday. And I've had this recently. I was, it was in June, the summer solstice. It was in June and I highlighted a practice that was something that you could do every single day. And I'll highlight that you, that you could do every single day because hands on heart, hands up here. I don't do this every single day, but I do make a strong intention to try and do it every time I'm really aware of gratitude in my life which is my gratitude jar now I know I've mentioned this on Instagram I know I've mentioned this at least once on the podcast but I have a jar that I started at the beginning of this year 2023 and every day if I can and sometimes and I highlight sometimes some days I actually have multiple things that I'm grateful for so I know I've got plenty in the jar the jar looks like it's almost full anyway and we're in September now uh, but I will write out something I'm grateful for on a post-it note and then fold it up and post it into the jar. Now, I mentioned this as a gratitude practice that you could practice at any time of the year. And then when I scanned the room, everyone's gone, oh, that's nice. And then I went, honestly, how many of you have gone, oh, I'll start that next year because we're already halfway through the year. Everyone put their hands up. 
everyone put their hands up. I was like, why would you wait? Why would you delay six months of gratitude when you could start today? And in six months time, you could open that jar and tip it out. And then you could start the new year or, or complete or close off this current year by reading those, those gratitude. Go, oh my gosh, yeah, that happened. And that happened. You can reflect and uh, really feel the joy you had at the time and then bring it back into your life now. So you can really get into practicing that now. So if you're if you're constantly putting something of, oh, I'll do it later, when I have more time, or I'll start that in the new year, really sit with yourself and be like, well, if I continued as I am now, where would I be in three months' time? And that is the, the journal prompt. I want you to really ask yourself, like, if you continued as you are now, where would you be in three months' time? How would you feel? Because if you're if you're feeling, and you might be between the two, I put a, I can remember putting a poll out and saying, you know, this is burnout, this is vibrant, which one are you? And about 50, 60 percent once it closed said they were feeling burnt out, and then the rest of the people will say they were feeling vibrant. Now sometimes we can go between the two. I have, and that's very normal. I have days where I feel vibrant, and I have days where I feel burnt out. But I know the practices to help bring me from that burn out or getting close to burn out like I know if I continue on this path in the next few months I will burn out so I might be all right now but I'm not vibrant so what can I do now to help pull me back to my most vibrant happy joyful energized focused motivated self and if you're not feeling like that if you're feeling closer to burnout if you're feeling stressed if you're feeling tired if you're feeling fatigued if nothing changes then nothing changes so what could you do to help you elevate optimize and level up your well-being so this course might be that big shift that you need to invest in to turn your life around to feel like your best self now why wait until the new year which you could you, you could you could you, this this is so that you can join at any time there is no restriction other than like i said if you go for the the course and coaching there will only be five spaces every single month Whereas you could do the self-study um, and you could start that at any time. So there's no restriction on that. But if you started now in September and then you could be in three months time, we're closer to the end of the year, but you're three months ahead of yourself if you waited till the end of the year. So imagine where could you be in three months if you carry on as you are right now, but where could you be in three months time if you took that chance on yourself to invest in yourself, to actually give yourself that chance to be your most vibrant self. So I am really excited about bringing this out. Like I said, it's something I have wanted to create for ages, and it's just been sort of brewing under the surface, like a lot of other things. I haven't announced anything else that's brewing under the surface on the podcast, but there are some things that I have announced in the Facebook group. So things do get announced in there that don't get announced on the podcast or don't get announced on, on the newsletter. But you could, you know, this, this, there, there will be something that will be coming out in line with this, which um, won't be out for at least a year, I would imagine, from when this podcast episode is going up. So, you know, would you wait a year to get something that, you know, feels a little bit more accessible? So it's it's that thing of sometimes you've got to take that leap of faith and be like I am worth it I'm fed up of feeling like this and obviously it's going to be different if you've just had a baby it's going to be more challenging because you're navigating this change but I would say like if you've had a baby nine months ago a year ago and then you're ready to move into this next chapter of you as a mum, then this would be something for you. If you are like a recent empty nester and you're you're now ready to really invest that time into you because you now have that time as, as the children are, are growing and finding themselves as adults, you're coming back to yourself more. Or like I said, if you're realising, actually my partner has X in his life, you know whether it's you know X Y Z, you know be like they're doing this on this day or this on this day. It's like what can I do to to fill my time for me to re refill my cup so I feel great when we're spending that time together. Or if you notice you're feeling burnt out and 
frazzled and you're taking it out on your loved ones or you're taking it out on your kids and you're not being the best self that you could be for them then this is something that could be for you so what I'm going to be doing is this will be released this month and the details will be in the show notes and I will be adding them as they as it goes live I will be doing an offer uh, for people on the podcast um, I will be doing an offer for people who attend the masterclasses. I will be doing an offer for people in my Facebook group and on the newsletter. So if you're catching any of these, awesome. They will all be the same offer. Um, I'm going to just say it's probably going to be about 20% off um, because you're listening to the podcast. And that will be off both. So you will have two options, which will be the self-study. So you can sign up whenever. And... You can go through the self-study. If you want more information, do click on the discovery call button that's in the show notes so we can hop on a quick call. It's literally like 10, 15 minutes to, to have a quick run through so you can ask your questions so you can be certain that you want to sign up. There is a 30-day guarantee. So if you sign up and in the first 30 days, you're like, no, this isn't for me, then you can um, email and cancel and you'll get a full refund. Um if you have the um coaching in alongside that it won't be a full refund because you would have had some coaching alongside that everything is dripped out for that reason as well so you don't get the full course uh because obviously if you're getting uh more than that then uh also it's just make sure that that's fair for both of us but there will be a lot of information in this course so you will have workshops to go through there'll be workbooks to go through there'll be tours and the reason I also drip feed it is because otherwise you get overwhelmed it's like there's so much and I don't know where to start and again a lot of people have, do say you know, I, I don't know where to start and this will be drip fed week by week so you can slowly work on this in your own pace and some people will turn especially the self-study some people will turn this from a three month to a six month because you might decide you want two weeks to work on a module and then you'll come into the next week. So you can do it as best as works for you. But like I said, I'm really excited to, to finally have this ready to go. And, you know, really, really think about that. Like, if you aren't where you would like to be right now, is that going to be any different in three months time if nothing changes? If you just carry on as you are, wouldn't it be amazing to get to the end of the year? and actually be three months ahead of where you could be if you didn't wait. You know, there's a reason why we start school year around like August, September, instead of January, because we're a little bit more motivated to get, to get started. It's not really fun starting in January. <laughs> uh, I know there will still be people that will sign up to this in January, um, but it's not always as fun, is it? So give yourself that head start and get started now so all the details will be in the show notes like I said, if you have got any questions if you are unsure please do book a discovery call and you can ask your questions if you don't want to book a call but you do have questions do get in touch all the details are in the show notes like I, said, I am really 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 excited to finally have this ready to go for you now so I am looking ahead just very quickly in September. I will be doing a little go through of meeting my mentor. So uh, the last weekend of August, I am going to be going to London and meeting a mentor of mine that's been in my life for over three years. This will be the first time I'm meeting them in person, which is really exciting. Everything I've done with them has been online. And uh, we will have a 90 day review and 90 day plan at the end of September. Um, and then I'm thinking of a couple of the things that we'll be going into. I will highlight the, the upcoming masterclass as well. So I will just highlight this. All the masterclasses are based on modules in this program. They are smaller snippets. So if you're not quite there yet for the full picture, you could attend every single masterclass or, or an, a particular topic or, or whatever the masterclass is that's going live that month. You might decide just to attend that and that will give you a little bit more than what you're getting now. You could join the free Facebook group and that will give you a little bit more than what you're getting now. And then you might decide that actually, yes, I'm ready to sign up. I will just highlight that the offer that's going out for those listening to the podcast Again, if you're on the newsletter or if you are in my Facebook group or if you're in the membership, actually, um, the offer will end by the end of September. So I will just highlight once you sign, uh, if you sign up uh, and you want to have the, the discount offer as a thank you for listening here or if you're, you're getting it in a specific place because you're you're interacting and and 
and working and growing on yourself, then you get a nice thank you discount for that just to help you elevate your well-being even more. Uh, but that will only be available till the end of September. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But yeah, do really think about where are you right now? If nothing changed, would you be happy to be in the same place in three months' time? And to be really honest with yourself. And if you're like, ah, yeah, I'm happy with where I am, amazing. Maybe there are some tools and techniques that you've used that I've gone through over the last 40 weeks with you that's really helped you. Do reach out and let me know because that would be amazing to, to hear from you, to, to know what's working. But if deep down you're like, actually, actually, would I want to be here feeling like this in three months' time? Mm, maybe not. What could I do? I could work with Rachel in this particular way. So go and have a look at the details. If you have got any questions, let me know. I'll be talking about this a little bit more over the next few weeks. Like I said, that discount will be available until the end of the month. So you can sign up whenever you're ready. Uh, everything I do put up is in pounds because that's what I, I'm currently working at the moment. Um, but you it will just auto correct to whatever currency is in your, you know, whatever your national currency is, just to make it easier for you when you sign up. So welcome to September and let's help you feel like your most vibrant self ever.